Hey, what's going on you guys? This is Hyperion Blue GT and it looks like we have an additional update on, on the March 2019 on Gran Turismo Sports. So, looks like this is going to be quite good to be able to take a good look on it. So, looks like we have five additional cars is now joining in. So we have two Dallara Super Formula 19 Super Formula with Toyota and Honda on it. So, looks like this is going to be quite excellent to choose one or two super formula with only two brands so this is going to be quite excellent to get two sf19s is definitely quite very good to get ready to race and luckily we have three additional cars are now joining in for it so we have the lamborghini countach 25th anniversary 1988 valencia stratos 1973 and the ferrari 250 gt Barina paso cortio cn point 25 21 1961 so looks like this is going to be able to have a very good choice to be able to have 10 cars in the march update for it so looks like part one that we just did now looks like part two that we're about to be able to try out five of these new rides are about to get ready to race so luckily with the adding up with two super formula a super formula championship has been added to the GT League on the Amateur League. So looks like this is going to be the perfect time to get ready to race and this is going to be quite very awesome to to use Super Formula race cars. So luckily Autopolis International Racing Cars has been added to the circuit experience as well and luckily Cherry Blossoms is now added up with a special collection because good day to be able to have a nice spring season to be able to enjoy and and the museum feature has been added to the super formula as well so looks like this is going to be quite giving a good extra ways to be able to take a good tour on it so the good news is i have finally reached up to 20 mil credits it's time to get ready to buy a historic race car so maybe first things first because well maybe this is going to be able to have to take a good look on on the five additional cars for. So looks like I might be able to get back to do some more runs on Route X. So looks like this will be able to take a good look on the Italian brand selection it is going to be good. So first up, let's just going to have to take a good look on the Ferrari because giving a good classic vehicle that might be going to be the expensive. So looks like the 250 GT Barinta has been definitely has a total expensive amount of 12,500,000 credits. So looks like that was definitely most highly expensive like any other historic race cars. So this is a very stylish interior view because maybe they should really want to get this car because this one's a classic. 1960s classic Ferrari. That was very good ride. So luckily one color is definitely available is the Rosso. So looks like this is going to be quite good for a single red color because this is going to be quite good to give a good preview on it. So same thing like the 330p4 and the 250 GTO. So looks like this is going to be able to have one of the three most highest expensive in the Ferrari section has definitely need to get. But it is quite very rare and expensive to get these cool rides and classics for it. So next up is going to be the Lamborghini is bringing out the Countach 25th anniversary. Since the January 2018 update, so it looks like the Countach LP700 was definitely the 1974 model, kind of say the classic. And luckily, until in 1988, the Countach made its 25th anniversary with a good style. Pretty good cost amount by 500,000 credits, so looks like this is going to be able to have a very good choice to buy for so looks like there's some six colors are definitely available so it looks like a new color is now added in onto the Countach is the candy apple blue so looks like the usual colors is definitely seen for it but the blue color is definitely added for it so it looks like the Argentino Luna, Blanco Polo Park, Galino Fly and Rosso Salvia and the Neo Tenebrae so maybe this will be able to have to choose a color to be able to select. So looks like it might be able to go with the Argentino Luna. 
So that might be quite very excellent to be able to get a good color to be able to select this Countach because this is going to be an excellent default. So this is pr pretty good for having the Countach to be able to add it in onto the update. So it's definitely seen on the debut in the, in the Gran Turismo World Tour in Paris, racing in Dragon Trail Gardens. So looks like this is going to be quite very good to be able to have the Lamborghini fans to be able to have this vehicle to try it out for. So looks like I'm going to have to use the in-game credits to purchase this vehicle. So I hope that I might be able to be back on to do some more stacking of earnings on Route X to do some more runs for. So looks like the Countach is now joining in and looks like a pretty good M500 supercar is going to race for, on a classic vehicle. So very good for the Countach 25th anniversary model is definitely quite very good for the classic on the 1980s. So maybe like let's go and give a good look on the Lancia that they're bringing the Stratos in. So looks like this is going to be quite excellent to take a good preview look on it. So an N200 car, it's definitely cost 600,000 credits, but this is definitely quite very good to be able to have a good fully detailed premium car. So it's definitely used as a standard car, so it also appears in Gran Turismo 2 as a, a reward. But luckily until in Gran Turismo 6, fully premiumized detail is definitely quite shown for it. So it is also used to be as a standard car in GT5. But this is definitely quite very good to have 5 colors to take a good look on it. So there's the lime green, yellow, orange, light blue, and the dark blue. So, looks like this is going to be able to have a good look to be able to select any kinds of colors for. So luckily, a little surprising that might be able to show us something else for it. Because there's some interior seats also changes with some colors. So three colors also has the beige color. The, the yellow color also has the blue seat interior. And luckily also for the green color is definitely shown as well. Well, probably... The yellow color with the blue seat interior also has a very good style on it. So maybe let's just gonna have to go and get the Russell Alicano rally because this is gonna be quite excellent for it. So this is a very good one for it because the car value of cars purchase level three has finally complete because this is gonna be able to have this for a mid-engine rally car to get ready to do some more dirt track to do some off-road scales for. So luckily this is going to be quite excellent for a 1973 road car that will might give a good work to be able to have a nice variant. But luckily, this one is a one racing legend that also drives on the dirt. So, welcome aboard Lancia Stratos. And I hope that this is going to be a good start. So, looks like onward to the Asian Pacific. It looks like Super Formula is now became a manufactured brand. Has definitely quite very shown on it. So I might be able to keep track of the credits because I just really want to make sure because don't want to go spend on it. Because it's important to save up until getting a historic race car. So Super Formula is established in 1995 and the founder is the J Japan Race Promotion. So this is very quite excellent to be able to have Super Formula to be in Gran Turismo Sport. So it looks like two vehicles are definitely available for. So it looks like we have the Dal Dallara SF19 Super Formula Toyota model and also the Honda model as well. So this is definitely quite excellent to be able to have two cars to choose. So pr pretty good much. And this is going to be able to have a Group X on it because this is going to be quite excellent to be able to try it out for. So, however, I might be able to take a good look on the for only one single color. Kind of say that this is going to be quite very good for a carbon fiber design that will be quite very good. So, everybody is very excited to be able to have the Super Formula cars is definitely able to be fully customized on library editor. But I hope that this is giving the great opportunity to be able to try out 
one or two super formula cars that's definitely able to race it on going for. So this is going to be quite very determined to choose which kind of super formula are you going to choose. Even Toyota or Honda. And why not have both? That will might give a good try to see it and see how the performance might be quite good to see it to do the same. And also the usual part for it. And also the ch chassis parts is definitely able to get a good look on for it. So maybe this is going to be able to get a good preview on it. So I'll make sure I'll be able to try out two Super Formula cars someday until after getting a historic race car. But it's important. That's how I always might need to have plenty more credits to do. And always going to have to take a lot of good choice to be able to go on for. Now, let's go and take the tour on the Super Formula. And now, looks like that also starts out in 1964, the first for year of Formula car racing in Japan. In 1963, the first race with Formula cars takes place at Suzuka in the second Japan Grand Prix, JAF Trophy. Michael Knight took the checkered flag. It also stands for Japan Automobile Federation. So, looks like this is a very good picture, was definitely able to have a good promote for the Super Formula. But you may also to take a good look at the pictures that you may want to see it throughout the timeline since Super Formula was established in the 1960s. Because this is very inspirational to be able to take a good look on any certain vehicles for it. So like this one for it, in the 1980s, Advan tires make their debut in the Suzuka Grade 20 Racers event Advent Tires appears for the first time on the car driven by Kenji Takahashi. So, looks like a tire aftermarket is definitely able to make a debut for it. So, this is very good history was definitely able to race on Formula race cars is definitely quite shown for. Now, this is very big to be able to have Super Formula to be able to, to have two cars on. But this is going to be able to take a lot of tours to be able to read all of it and take a good look on it. But this is very amazing. So this is quite very good throughout the times and now. So looks like it also has been renamed in 2013. Formula Nippon changed its name to All Japan Championship Super Formula. The champion this year was Naoki Yamamoto in FN09. So looks like that was a pr pretty good promo picture to be able to have the Super Formula logo is definitely quite giving the brand new. So looks like this is a very big moment to be able to get a good look to see some very good pictures to, on the museum. So this is going to be all about having a great racing history. So right now, looks like it's going to be able to have all done on the Brent Central. So it's important to be able to hold on to some credits to be able to need for. So there's some bonus that might need to be claimed. So I kind of guess that the green section is finally finished. So looks like it's time to be able to claim the bonus on all the value cars. 3,000 credit mileage points and looks like 7,000 experience points. So looks like the achievements on the green is finally well done. So looks like giving one good stop reminder that might be able to go for. So let's take a good look onto the GT League and head on over to the Amateur League. So looks like this is going to be an excellent one make race for Super Formula Championship. So it also limits to the Dallara SF19. So looks like two cars are now definitely permit to be able to eligible with. So a little bit surprised because main rival cars also has with variants. But good news that this is a very perfect race to begin with. But this is going to be quite very awesome to have another Formula 1 car to be able to get ready to race. So maybe this is definitely same thing but different. 
like the Mercedes AMG Grand Prix. So looks like this is going to be able to have everything to be quite very extended for having some new rounds of events might be joining in for. So looks like one additional round on Group 1 Prototype and Zirin Series. So looks like 20 laps on Circuit Descent Chlorix. So looks like this is going to be quite very tougher like Le Mans and now looks like this is going to be able to have a long day to be able to have all the events to be done folks. So looks like this is going to be able to get ready to do some more previews on this one. So right now let's go and take a look on the cherry blossoms to be able to have some new pictures. So looks like everything that we've seen was definitely the usual ways for it but there is some new additional pictures that's definitely quite going in and adding up by five so cool to be able to have springtime pictures and looks like this is going to be quite excellent to be able to get ready to go for so however let's take a good look on the circuit experience and this is going to be able to have autopolis to be added in onto the list so this is going to be quite very good to use the rcf gt3 emu freight racing but this is going to be able to have three sections is going to be able to do it wisely for so looks like this is going to be able to get ready to do some more certain experience but maybe let's just gonna say that this will be able to have to go and have the circuit experience to get started on Autopolis first, then Tokyo Expressway South Outer Loop, and this will might give a good choice for. So maybe for this update, because this is gonna be quite very excellent. But speaking of which, there was definitely an extra has definitely giving us some on the controllers. So maybe this will might give a good take a good look on the preview board. Now, looks like there's some few other things he's never seen before, but an overtake button is definitely introduced by the update. So, it seems that this is giving the brand new that will might give a good work on it. So, maybe it also says according to the GT Planet, because that might be able to have to use the overtake button if anything needs for. So maybe let's just gonna give a try and then well maybe this one might be able to do it until this might be able to do some certain experience to be able to try it out for. So the overtake has definitely features so maybe let's see it. So it also shows for having an overtake button that might be able to have a different overtaking systems like Curse known as Kinetic Energy recovery systems or DRS stands for drag reduction systems so the cars with KDRS also includes with Tomahawk X GTSR and S Vision GT well other Vision Gran Turismo cars has kinetic energy recovery systems and the other cars with DRS also includes from the McLaren P1 GTR Mercedes AMG F1 WOA EQ Power Plus 2017 Lewis Hamilton Library and color variations. So maybe this might be able to try out the overtake after taking the circuit experience. So looks like time to be able to get ready a technique track on Autopolis. So looks like I'll be able to start using the Lexus RCF GT3 Emil Frey Racing 2017. So this is going to be quite good to be able to have a Lexus vehicle to be in the race, but this is going to be able to use for the practice. So looks like let's do the event overview. Turn 1 and turn 2. Use the 100 meter board as your breaking point for turn 1. The entry into the corner rises slightly, making it difficult to see the exit, but you should be fine if you clip the apex as you go around. So looks like this is going to be quite a very good start for it. So luckily, Racing Hearts is now going to be able to do on the courtesy start. So let's see how it goes to be able to take turn one and turn two.
I hope that this is going to be able to be prepared for having a circuit experience to be racing on the auto course. Get to know the corner and master it if you can. So, looks like here we go. I got this because, well, this is going to be slightly difficult to be going in as well for it. Well, kind of say that the first attempt is going to be quite very difficult. So, looks like time to take attempt number two, and this time, just going to keep an eye out on 100 meters to be able to make it go at the main queue. Okay, so it looks like handling improvements is definitely going well for So, looks like this is going to be good. Just having a little nick of time of 22.99. Now, looks like this is going to be able to take a good preview on the replay to see how the RCF GT3 is doing well. So, looks like this is going to be quite very good to be able to test it out slightly for. So, luckily, no track for today and only chest for auto police. But this is going to be able to have the next update that will also bring out one of the classic GT tracks we'll be able to come back to. So, looks like test one complete. Have some small earnings is definitely quite received as well for. So, looks like time to go for section number two to be able to find out and see what's the techniques up the corner that will might need to master it okay so let's go with sector two for turn for turn three use the side road on the left as your breaking point don't go too wide on the exit or you will be probably set up for the next corner for turn four brakes lightly turn in and exit at the center of the track for turn five let up the throttle or brake lightly as you enter. Again, you want to stay in the center of the track when you exit. For, t for the turn 6 hairpin, brake towards the pillar front or towards the marshal post as you enter. Go tight around the corner along with curbing, and once you see the end of the curbing on the other side, get back on the throttle as you exit. Accelerate and get it to the right side of the track for in preparation for turn 8 that sweeps to the left. Ease off the throttle as you enter and keep to the inside at partial throttle. When you see the green crash pads in the front, get back hard on the throttle. Turn 10 is the tightest turn on, on the track because it goes uphill at the entry and then downhill at the exit. Your car can experience changes in landing, handling balances. And visibility may be bad as well. Start breaking at the second arrow sign on the right side Keep to the inside curbing at partial throttle. Once you pass the hump at the middle of the corner, get back on the gas pedal. So, looks like this is going to be quite very technique on sector 2. Will might give the better ways to do it. So, let's find out and see how the, the turn 3 to turn 10 will might give a good work on for. Just going to be make sure because this is going to be quite challenging for. So this is going to be quite tight to be able to stay steady on it. So this is going to be able to go slightly light up for it. But this is going to be covered for having the hairpin that will might get through for. Because I hope that this is going to be able to experience on the auto track to be able to master. Just like what we did to do something to race and need to speed shift. Mastered every corner you need to learn, but this will might help out. Now looks like going in for it, and this is going to be able to catch up. They call for gold award, and this is going to be quite good for 49 seconds with 2.257 on it. So let's see the replay results that definitely turn out for. So, looks like this is pretty hard and technique that will might keep up on it. So, this is all about concentration and keep it well balanced on the position board. Turn 3 and turn 10 is very important to be able to 
breathe carefully if you might need to have a little chance. Okay, giving it good. Turning it back to get closer onto the apex. So this might be where the third sector might come up for it because downhill is going to be quite slightly easy for us. So this will might be able to keep in touch to be remind yourself because this is all about concentration and technique will might get focus. So this is a pretty hard lesson because this might be able to experience on the second sector. So looks like move on to sector three and this is going to be the uphill part. For turn 11, which bends nearly 90 degrees to the right, start breaking at the 50 meter mark and get to the inside of the corner early. Once you clip in the apex, mash the throttle for the fast exit. At turn 12, either let up up the throttle or brake lightly before turning in. Stay at partial throttle until you see the orange wall on the far left side. Then floor the gas pedal. Let up the throttle as you enter turn 13 and exit in the corner of the track. Turn 14 is a decreasing radius corner, so brake lightly before you turn in and stay at the partial throttle. You'll find yourself in the middle of the track halfway through the turn here. Let up the throttle and get to the inside. Then comes turn 15 where you want to maintain a straight line from the apex to the exit. For turn 16, light up, up the throttle slightly before you enter. Make your exit towards the start of the curbing on the other side. For turn 17, turn in while lightly breaking in the middle of the track, then go to the inside of the corner at the partial throttle. Use the side road on the inside as you cure to floor it. So this is gonna be the final sector of the stage. So this will might be able to get started so once taking on the downhill, just turn right if you might need to be drive carefully if you see the 50 meter to be at the main queue. So let's find out. So looks like giving the first start that will go a little bit downhill slightly for, but the little problem is once you might need to stay on the inside because that will might give a little problem. So let's just gonna have to do a little attempt number two to be able to give it for a little better example. So this will might give a good example way to be able to perform it because this is gonna be able to do a lot of practice to be able to do it. But use the apex if you might need to help out for. It. So that will might give a good method way to you. Okay, so it's like taking a little underpass bridge to be going through. Now, here comes the final turn that Will might be able to step in for. This Will might get you handful to be able to step on, on it. Now, let's straight over to the exit and then let's go. And looks like 44 seconds is definitely quite giving good hard work to be able to do some runs on for. Giving a little downhill towards the uphill like Fuji Speedway, but this is going to be able to have a different technique to be able to have corners to be able to step up on it. That will might give us better ways to be able to stay on it and keep the throttle to be maintained partially. For it. so looks like this will might give a good technical uphill S turn to be raced towards on to the underpass bridge. See what I mean? This wheel might be able to get a specific turn when you see the apex, and then this wheel might give a handful for it. So, looks like giving some fine earnings will be able to get extra up on it, and this will give a good final course of the test that will might get you to be prepared to, to get ready for a one tough race. So, this will might need to be able to get to known to have a one lap time attack on Autopolis track. So this will apply what you have learned so far to aim for a good lap time. 
So, looks like it's time to get ready to take one lap challenge and let's see how I'm doing well so far to be able to have one or two attempts because this will might be quite very challenging to do it because this will have to be able to have a group 3 and group 2 challenge to be able to race like a group 2 Okay, getting a little bad call. That was a failed attempt. Please note, if you really want to do it, because this is going to be quite challenging to be able to get concentrated. Once you might need to stay focused and keep on the partial throttle and try not to make any mistakes as you need it, because making mistakes is going to be quite difficult to be able to challenge yourself with. So maybe use the apex if you need it by giving it a chance. So that will might give a good extra helpful way to be able to go partial of ways to be able to support. So this will might keep a good balance nice and steady to be able to keep up the maintain pace on it. Now looks like that was a pretty good clear call for. But this will might give a a little better way to be able to make a good aggressive. In case if you really don't want to get a, caught up on the outside turn, inside turn will might be able to get a good chance to be able to get a good improvement lap time that will might be able to keep well balanced on. Because this will might give a good stability to be able to keep up the maintain pressure. If you might need to be able to do some more practice, make sure to take a time trial if you can. Now, looks like this is going to be able to do a little bit much closer to be able to do a little uphill turn to step up on it. Now, looks like almost there, it's just going to keep up and make a good chance to be able to have a perfect left. Okay, almost there. Just gonna have to take one more chance until this will be able to reach under 50 seconds for it. So, looks like that was a pretty good fast run. Note, taking the hard technique corners on autofocus that will might get you mastered any corners that you must can. If you have to reach under a minute and 50, 50 seconds, that could be quite getting a good chance to be amazing up for it. Better records like a minute and 50.309 seconds, that will might be able to have some more work to be able to get a good improved lap for. So, looks like this is going to be able to have a good footage to be able to see how how a Lexus RTS GT3 can also race on the track, that will might give a good handful to be able to master it. Giving the basics, advanced and expert, that will might give you three types to be able to prove enough to master the track, that will might get helpful for. But I kind of say because racing on the short course is definitely giving the easy start for using rail cars for it. But race cars and certain other vehicles like supercars, that will might get you up to be able to be prepared for having a challenge. Now, the downhill section, that will might get easily to be able to partial in if you have a chance to be able to make the breaking point at 50 meters as your main cue. But this will have to do it nice and easy to be very careful as possible. But note, have the turns with apex that will might get you help as any support that you need to be able to keep up on it. So that will might keep the pressure to be ongoing. But this will might take up on the final turn to be able to stay on the right on the inside and then goes in onto the last part of the turn that will go straighten in for. Now, looks like that was a pretty good experience on the track and this is going to be quite good to be able to get started for. So it looks like four courses complete and this is going to be quite excellent to be able to add up on to the circuit experience to be quite very good for it. So it looks like the best ranking is definitely quite added in. And this will might get you hand up to be able to learn up 
for every sector to be able to have some techniques on. Very challenging and very advanced. So this will might be able to, have to keep yourself very careful if you might need to have a good aim to be able to have a good technique corners on. So that's the end of the Autopolis Racing course circuit experience and now let's see for the earnings on on the gold achieved okay so close for getting a ferrari 250 because it looks like finally received a subaru wrx isolate man time attack car so luckily just definitely mastered the Autopolis International Racing Course in all gold prices. So looks like a decal has now added in in bronze with the line section and the highlight as well. This wheel might be able to get get some more course track decals as needed as possible. So looks like it's at 96%. So looks like this will be but that's continuing on the Tokyo Expressway South inner loop. Now this is gonna be able to have an extra test that will might you might to be get started. So looks like this will have to get started on Route X that will might find out for some more experiment to be able to test on for. So let's use the Tomahawk X and find out and let's see this will give it a good test on the on a kinetic energy recovery system that will might give a good test on. Just like the element boost on the, from Gran Turismo 6 but I hope that this is going to be quite very slightly different to find out because this might be able to go slightly fast and very velocity to be able to go higher for. It. So let's find out and see how that happens. Just for having a little bit single drag straight that will might give a good work on. See what I mean? This is definitely quite very excellent. So note, this is gonna be quite very changeable on the UI, or it's definitely able to show on the energy. So this is gonna be able to keep it track a bit. And see the rest one? That's where the overtake is definitely shown. So this is definitely quite very impressive to see how fast can the Tomahawk X can go. But this is going to be able to speed up up to 390 miles. So that will might be a good, very useful way to be able to have the method for. Giving the kinetic energy recovery system that will consume for the amount of energy to be able to speed up higher. But take a good look on the downhill speed section. 402 miles is definitely quite giving a good fast line. Just keep putting on onto the overtake and then this will might keep it going. Now this is definitely quite get, getting good fast distance on it. So maybe this is quite very good for having some other features on any certain vehicles that has kinetic energy recovery system and let's see how the drag system that might give a good work on for so maybe let's just kind of bring out the Mercedes Formula 1 car that will might give a good test so maybe let's choose for the color variation and see how see how it turns out to be So looks like the DRS is definitely able to set up on because the drag recovery system is definitely able to set up on. So this is going to be able to have a good speed that will might be quite giving a good improvement. So the wing part is definitely shown boosting up on it. So it will might be able to keep tracking up on the speed. So this will might be able to climb up and give a good acceleration to be able to keep up the throttle. So the energy effect is definitely able to show on a little increase. And see how it happens without the CRS that will might decrease a little bit significantly. So maybe this is going to be able to have a one good fast experiment to be able to get everything checked in for. 
Overtake Boost and DRS is definitely quite very featured to certain vehicles that have any ability that might be able to go fast for it. So this will might be able to get a good climb up on it. So this will be able to get a good boosting effect that will might give a good handful for it. Okay, this might be able to show on the red mark, it's definitely able to keep climbing up on it. So, the only fact is because using the DRS is definitely able to have a, a drag racing improvement for. So this will might be able to have a have the moving wings to reduce air resistance during operation. This was performantly performed automatically, but it's now a manual function. Additionally, the DRS can only be activated while in an overtaking zone. Just like the different thing like the kinetic energy recovery system that consumes kinetic energy stored in batteries to provide power assistance using motor activating overtake will provide the maximum power of an assistance rate. So maybe this will might give a good hand of ways to be able to have other features will be able to have a good improvements for. So looks like this might be the good time to be able to have some earnings to be stacked available for so maybe let's go for the B by mate color so this might be gonna be good for color for it now looks like this is gonna be able to have quick things to be quite giving additional features to be introduced for now maybe let's see that everything always be the usual to be quite everything changed so I hope that this is going to be quite okay to be able to have better improvements to be quite use this up and get everything going for. So maybe this is going to be quite good to be able to have part 2 of the March 2019 update that also adds up with 5 more additional cars that is now definitely bringing in for. So maybe this is going to be able to have important facts that Will might be able to do. So. I hope that this will be quite excellent to be able to have a good look to have some new stuff and new other abilities that also specialize on vehicles, including Fish and Grand Turismo as well. So don't worry, I'll be able to be stacked up back on to 20 mil. So looks like I'm just always going to have to purchase two cars enough because high expensive cars is definitely quite giving the important ways to do. So looks like I might be able to save it because I might need it for a historic race car to continue the GT League event. Well folks, glad that you really enjoyed part 2 of the March 2019 update and I hope you like it to enjoy it. So thanks for watching and be sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe on YouTube. Don't forget to click the bell for some notification uploads if you want to see. And also the links on the description down below if you want to see more. So I'll be seeing you guys next time on Gran Turismo Sport. And I'll see you guys later. Keep on racing, stay cool, and be improved.